And now live from Christiansburg, Virginia, it's God Squad Live! Hello and welcome to God Squad Live. I'm Caleb. I'm Elijah. And I'm Steven. Each week we will bring you the latest news about what God is doing. Today we are going to talk about a time when Jesus calmed the raging storm. How in the world can he do that? Good question. Only God has the power to calm a storm. Jesus was fully God and human at the same time. We have had a lot of rain and thunderstorms this week. Hey guys, what is the biggest storm you have been in so far in your life? I think the biggest storm I've ever been in is just a really bad thunderstorm. For me, we were on the road and there was a hail storm and the car was sliding on the road. Um, I was camping and there was a derecho that night and there was lightning struck like 10 feet away from me and me and my family and everyone else on the campsite hid in the bathroom. Today we are going to go live to Jesus. He spent all day teaching crowds of people near the Sea of Galilee. He was tired and he wanted to cross over to the other side of the sea. Let's go there live. Jesus and his disciples left the crowd. They got into a boat and began sailing. Some of the people from the crowds followed in their own boats. While Jesus and his disciples traveled, Jesus fell asleep on a cushion at the back of the boat. All of a sudden, a storm came. The wind was strong and the waves crashed into the boat. Water was coming into the boat and the disciples were afraid. Many of the disciples were fishermen and they had survived storms on the sea before. But this storm was different. It was so strong. If the water kept coming in the boat, the boat would sink. The disciples went to where Jesus was to get his help, but Jesus was still asleep. He didn't seem to even notice the storm. Did Jesus care that they were about to sink into the sea? He got up and spoke to the wind. Silence, be still. Immediately at the sound of Jesus' voice, the wind stopped blowing and the waves stopped crashing. Everything was calm. The disciples were safe. Why are y'all still afraid? Do y'all have no faith? That is a true miracle. Yes, none of us can call a big storm like that. Hey guys, this makes me think. Sometimes we have storms in our lives too. That's true, Caleb. We aren't talking about the storms with thunder and lightning and heavy rain, although we have those too. No, we're talking about problems and tough things that happen in our lives sometimes. We will all face problems in our lives as we get older. Our parents may lose a job, we may get really sick sometime, people might be mean to us. Loved ones may die. We might struggle doing something with doing something wrong. You might steal candy at the store. The key is to remember that when we are having a problem, Jesus is always with us. Just like Jesus calmed the storm for the disciples that day, he will help us to get through the storms in our lives. When we are in the middle of a problem, we just have to remember that Jesus is with us and he is going to help us. That is very good advice. Boys and girls, are you dealing with something really hard today? If so, please remember to talk to Jesus about it and he will help you. Well, that's about all the time that we have on today's show. Thanks so much for watching today. Don't forget to join us next time when we talk about how Jesus fed a large crowd. I'm already looking forward to hearing about food. <laughs>